everyone so today I am filming my May June June favorites it's actually July Woo. Um, and yeah so I haven't filmed the favorites video in a while but I bought some things this month that I would like to share with you that are just things that I've been loving lately and um, it's actually not too big which is pretty good it's bearable and yeah, let's get started. So I am going to do this first because I want to give out a mini review on this. This is the best nail polish remover I have ever found and I don't think I'll ever buy another one. I honestly can't even explain how amazing this is. This is a Sephora instant nail polish remover and um, it's fantastic. It's $9.50 but I think this will last a really long time. It takes it off instantly and it doesn't leave my fingers um, like greasy or what it dries instantly and it's a fantastic nail polish remover I can't even explain uh, and also on my nails is Zoya Vivi and I have a nail of the day swatch post of this on my blog and I have recently bought two um, nail polishes uh, from Zoya and I really love Zoya I I uh, didn't know they're from the Maximum Wear line. I just picked out two colors that I liked, and I have literally gotten. I just painted my nails about two days ago. They haven't chipped at all. The one that I wore previously lasted for about ten days. So I've been really loving the way of nail polish, and also with this, it makes it so much easier to paint my nails because it only takes like five minutes total to paint my nails, and uh, it's awesome. And the nail polish is awesome, so I would definitely recommend checking out Zoya. And I actually got it for a discount. Um, I only got it for $6.95 and it sells for $8, so cool. Um, so now on to makeup. I'm going to start off with the face stuff. So I picked up the Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup and I absolutely love this foundation. It's amazing. It makes my skin look so good. I'm not wearing it today because I just wanted to go really light on the makeup, but I wear it, I've worn it in a few other videos. Um, oh wait, no. It would just be the previous video because the I got it during the haul um, that I posted. So in the previous video you can see how it looks. Um, but this is an amazing, amazing foundation. Um, and it just, it covers, well it's more on the sheer side which I like and it just mattifies my face and it's fantastic. Um, and I've also been loving the Professional by Benefit. This is my new favorite primer. I've been using it for a while, but it just completely smooths out my skin, and I did wear it today, um, so you can see how that looks. And it's just seamless. It makes me look like I don't have pores, which is hair in my mouth, which is awesome. So, really great product. Um, now on to eyes. So. As for eyeshadow, I haven't really bought too much eyeshadow lately, but I'm just going to um, mention something that I've been loving a lot that I've been using more and more, and that is the Naked 2, and I haven't made any dents in the eyeshadow yet. I have made, well, I mean, I've dented the eyeshadows, um, but I haven't hit pan, but I've been using this a lot, and um, just because um, there's more matte colors in here so there's more options and I really like the variety in here and as you guys know I where did I put it yep I love my naked palette but um I switched to this a little bit just to give it a break. and I've been using this a lot more and I really 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 love it. I've always loved it but definitely a favorite for the month. Um regarding mascara my favorite mascara is I apply this on top of all the mascaras that I have um, used so I don't mention it in any of my tutorials but this is what goes on afterwards and this is the Rimmel Sexy Curves Mascara this is the blackest black it literally is amazing I'm just gonna zoom in and show you it just kind of gives my lashes like that bounce and uh, it's a really good lengthening volumizing mascara I really like it um, I also I don't think I've mentioned this I've used this many times but I don't think I've given it enough love and um, shared it um, with you guys and this is the Tarina Tarantino Eye Dream Highlight Hyperliner in Puppeteer um, I'll just swatch it for you it's just a this is three strokes you can really see the color. It glides on so smooth. It's a very warm brown with a little bit of golden sparkle in it. And I use this every day usually to just 
kind of run in my lower lashes because I usually don't line my waterline all the time. Um, and it gives a lot of definition. It's very nice and it's very long lasting. It's waterproof. It's amazing. Um, Oh, I also forgot about face. I've been using this practically every day, and this is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. Where is, how can you see this? There you go. Soft and Gentle. And it's just your perfect peachy pink highlighter, and that's what it looks like. And it, it just looks, I mean, it's so gorgeous on my skin especially. I really like it. It complements my skin so well, and I've been wearing this practically every day, so it's really awesome. I also recently picked up the Revlon Just Bitten, Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain, and this is in the color Lovesick. And it's a really bright pink. It matches my nails. <laughs> um, and I have been... This is what it looks like. I've been wearing this a lot, and it's kind of like, uh, what? But I've been wearing a lot of neutral stuff, and I've just dabbed this on lightly or gone all out. And it looks really good when it's lighter, it's not super intense, um, and it also looks good when it's really opaque. So, um, I really like this a lot. Um, and that's all my favorites of the month. What a quick video. <laughs> um, let me know what some of your favorites, um, are in the comment section. And um, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!